Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us get into the module 4 of Basic Electronics and Communication, where this module deals with the analog and digital communications. In this video, let us see what is a communication, what is the modern scheme of communication, what is an information source, transducer, type of signals and a transmitter. First, let us understand what is communication. In this picture, if you see, the two persons are communicating each other and they are sharing the information about Explore Electronics and the Basic Electronics playlist. So this will be considered as a communication. Here, what is the communication media? Communication media is just air. The two persons are very near so that one can hear the other one and that is sufficient. So then what is communication means? It is just a transfer of information from one point to other point or exchange of information between the two people we can say. So in the childhood, you can recall, we are using thread and a matchbox to communicate far distance. Suppose if you are done with this play, you can recall thread will be a communication medium between the two guys here. So thread will pass the information from one person audio to a other person. So the communication medium is very important here to carry the information from one end to other end. So there are different methods used by the ancient people and nowadays we are using an wired and wireless communication to communicate. Starting with the smoke signal to indicate some information to a far distance person and then a carrier pigeon, pigeon will carry some information from one person to the far people and then there will be some coding methodology and also a wireless radio coming to picture and then telephone, then fax, mobile phone, internet, email and now we will be having smartphones and computers, laptops and everything. What next? We don't know. Nowadays we will be having a multimedia access and many people can access a single uh, information present in a system through a connected network. So this is how the communication is evolved up to here. So we need to understand what is an electrical communication then. Electrical communication is a process by which information or a message is transmitted from one point to other point or from one person to other person or from one place to other place in form of an electrical signals through some communication link. Here I have divided this definition into different parts to understand communication is a process where we are transmitting an information from one place to other place through an electrical signals and we need a communication link in between. This is what an electrical communication means. So what and all the component this electrical communication consisting of? That is a modern communication system scheme. It will be having a information source and this information source in the sense it will be having some message to communicate. So this message can be audio, this can be a speech, this can be an text, this can be an image or a video whatever we say. So we need to transmit this message to a destination. In between, we will be having these components in a modern communication scheme. This message will be a physical quantity. We need to convert that into an electrical quantity using an input transducer. Transducer which converts a physical quantity audio into electrical signal. This electrical signal will be called as a baseband signal. You need to remember this word baseband. So baseband signal is a actual message what we are going to transmit but it is in an electrical form. So that will be given to the transmitter. This transmitter is going to do some modification and then it will transmit the signal through a communication medium. So output of a transmitter will be called as transmitted signal. This transmitted signal flow through a wire or it may flow through a air or there may be any communication medium. So that will be called as a channel. Channel is that it is a medium between the input side and the output side or from the source end to the destination end. This will be called as a channel. So while transmitting the data in this channel, there might be a occurrence of noise. Due to some other effects, noise will be included with the data what we are sending. So noise component will come into picture in a channel. So the output of a channel will be given to the receiver. So receiver input will be called as a received signal. So receiver what it is going to do? It is going to take out the baseband signal or the message signal. What transmitter is doing exactly reverse the receiver is doing. 
whatever the modification this transmitter is done exactly reverse this receiver is going to do and it will take out the recovered baseband signal that will be called as a message signal. So this will be in electrical format that will be given to the output transducer. Output transducer convert this electrical signal into a original message that will be an audio that will be given to the final destination. So what are all the steps we are carrying here? We can categorize into three parts. One is the information sending or sending information we will be having that will be called as a message and we are processing the information in between the transducer as well as the output transducer. We are just processing the information and then we will be having a receiving information. So processing information contains different methodologies to transmit the message from one end to other end. And here we will be having an information source and transducer, then transmitter, then channel and noise will be included in the channel or the medium and then receiver and finally output receiver, output transducer is going to give the message to the destination. And what is information source? Information source as I said it can be a message and it will be a sound or a, it can be a picture or it can be words in terms of text. So we will be having an input transducer to convert that information into a electrical quantity. So input transducer here we are going to use that convert non-electrical signal into electrical signal. So sound signal will be converted into an electrical signal. So there are two kind of signals we have. One is analog signal, another one is digital signal. Analog signal in the sense it might be a sine wave like this. So a smooth sine wave, a smooth oscillation we can consider. Or if, it, if we consider it as a speech or an audio signal, it will be having more variations like this. So this will be a typical speech signal. A digital signal will not be having continuous values, but at the time intervals, we will be having an amplitude. Means we will be having a voltage representation at particular time intervals. This will be called as a digital signal. We will be having an analog communication and the process involved with that. We also having a digital communication, the process involved in that, that we are going to discuss in this particular chapter. And then in the next video, we will see what is transmitter and what the operation transmitter is going to carry out to make the signal to transfer to a longer distance. Thank you.